Okay, this is the C major scale in two octaves. We're going to do the right hand. And the purpose of learning scales is we learn to turn the thumb under. Like that. See? So one, two, three. Now one, two, three, four. Okay, and now we're in the second octave. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Ending on the pinky on the C. So, and then down, five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, three, two, one, okay? Now the left hand, start on the low C, five, four, three, two, one, three, Two, one, four, three, two, one, three, two, one, down, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. The key to learning scales and arpeggios is to learn to play them slowly and smoothly. Now when we put both hands together, let's do it very slowly. See the hands cross at different times, so it's essential to learn that. Now we're going to come down. See our page, we're going to start down here. Okay, and it's C, E, G, which is the C major chord. Actually, just let's start it up here. Two, three, now you cross over there. One, two, three, and on the fifth, if we're going to do it. Now, as we get more advanced, we're going to do four octaves. So we're going to keep crossing over. And then on the fifth way up here, which you can't see, but that's a high C up there. And anyway, let's do the uh, left hand. Just two octaves now. So five, four, two, thumb, four, two, one, and down. Okay, now both hands, slowly. And again, we're crossing in different places. One more scale in our page, Joe. These have the same fingerings with different notes. Starts on G, ends on G, but there's an F sharp here. Okay? One, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one. Now down the scale. Five, four, three, two, one, three, Two, one, four, three, two, one, three, two, one. Left hand, five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, three, two, one, two, three, one. scales because they say they're boring and is it possible to get away with it it's possible 
but you really have to learn to turn his thumb under. It's a, an essential part of basic piano technique, or you'll never be able to play legato. See, you'll always be choppy. Or if you don't turn that thumb under, it would be like your hand only had five fingers and then you got to stop. See? Okay, now let's do the arpeggios. Right hand. G major triad is the G, the B, the D. Okay, so one, two, three, one, two, three, and on the pinky. Now down five, three, two, one, three, two, one. Left hand, five, four, two, one, four, two, one, two, four, one, two, four, one. And both hands. Okay, if you'd like to uh, help support the production of these videos, you can pay any amount to the link below. And um, if you'd like to take live online lessons via webcam, my information is uh, below. And if you're watching on YouTube, it'll pop up on the screen. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.